Hey, good morning. Hello out there in YouTube land or TV land, we used to say. Uh, I had some time yesterday. I took somebody shopping. And uh, while I was waiting, I picked up the Jesus Storybook Bible that I had checked out at a church. Written by Sally Lloyd-Jones, illustrated by Jago. So, I like the book. I like the illustrations. The smiles are kind of strange, but... Uh, <laughs> I know, I like him overall. He's a beautiful, very talented person, Jago. Sally Lloyd-Jones, I wish this Bible could just be written by God. Um, some of the words kind of take off from the original Bible story. It's like, why can't we just read the Bible? Why does it have to be, the word have to be changed? So that's my opinion. Saul has an interesting outfit there. Um, here's Adam and Eve. There was a nice pitch. Oh, here's creation. Um, looks like a comet. Planet. There's a, I'm missing, uh, creation. The animals of creation are beautiful. There's Adam and Eve kind of hiding behind this lion. <laughs> Looking at God's beauty. Creation. Looks like Africa, huh? Maybe Adam and Eve were in the Amazon? I'm not sure. The Nile. Uh, here's Eve with the snake. I, I wonder what color the snake was. Um, very creative liberties, which is fine. Um, creative differences. And the fruit looks like pomegranate. We always think of apple, but there's a pomegranate looking at fruit so the animals are watching adam and eve get taken out of they didn't obey god so they are removed kicked out of the garden but something very nice is god gave them uh skins to wear so he clothed them he helped them even though there was a big fall they had the fall uh here's noah's ark i like these animals I, Adam and Eve had some animal pictures. And this beautiful Noah's smile. <laughs> what am I missing? What's next? Um, oh, here's something. Yeah. Uh, here's Jacob with his two wives. One, the first one was kind of snuck into him, hidden. And he... Uh, Leah was first, I believe, and then Rachel, who he really loved, he had to wait seven years for. And this says he's screaming. I'm like, what is this picture? And so Jacob woke up and screamed. Here it is. The next morning, Jacob woke up and screamed. So I looked that up. I didn't see anything about Jacob screaming. But um, so I wish it would just stick to the Bible and read the Bible. But Say la vie, shouldn't judge. Uh, I like this picture of um, the Jews, the Israelites running from Pharaoh and his people. You know, I, we always think of it as a line, line of Israelites leaving, running away, and a line of Pharaoh, the Egyptians chasing them. But well, creative liberty. They're up, here. They are to the side. Going through the water. It's a horizontal picture, I guess I would call it. What else is here? Um, oh, I liked her, her sheep. This is Isaiah, a letter um, to God. I need to draw out Isaiah myself. But I like her sheep with the little curls there, curlicues. Um... What else do we have? There's Daniel in the lion's den. Oh, here's one that was interesting. Um, Jesus heals the woman who was bleeding. And I would think of it as a younger woman, menopausal woman, but this has an older woman. Uh, who touched me, Jesus asked, because he felt power go out of him. Me, said a frail la lady, looking at, down at the ground because she was ashamed. 
So it's not directly from the Bible, all those words, but I like the pictures. I like this one. Um, the Jesus tells the people, or disciples, or somebody, uh, look at the birds, the little sparrows. God provides for the birds, and he'll provide for us. The birds don't have to go shopping or get their pantry stock, stocked up. And then I also liked the look at the lilies, look at the flowers. God doesn't dress them or give them clothes, but every day God dresses them beautifully like a king. So I really like these illustrations. There's Jesus and the disciples. I don't know how many disciples were in the boat, but... Here's prodigal son with the pigs. He needs to go back to the father. Um, I like this one of Jesus washing his disciples' feet. We need to wash each other's feet. Jesus washes the feet. There's also one of Mary Magdalene washing feet, which I thought was good. There's a nice one of Jesus, like in the front cover. The smile, I don't know. But... It's a very talented artist here. Here's Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, but everybody's asleep. I forget who the which friends were there with him. It's like, come on, can you please wake up just for a little bit? Here's a good aerial view. And this is realistic. Has, Includes the crucifixion. Somebody came, named Simon came and helped Jesus carry the cross. So, you know, at least it has a crucifixion, not the... Oh, yeah, it has Jesus on the cross. So that's different some, than some other children's Bibles um, that don't have the, show the crucifixion. Um, our King. So uh, I think that's what the Bible says happened. I think it's the Jewish king. I'll have to look that up. Um, what else? Here is Jesus. Jesus going up to heaven. And two angels. Two men in white uh, bright clothes were talking to them. So she's got a couple angels here and the view of Jesus looking down. And then, how do you feel when Jesus is gone? I like this picture of how dark and sad they felt. So, God sends a helper. God sends the Holy Spirit in Acts 2. And, I like this fire on the top of their heads. Uh, they all spoke in different languages. So, God, Jesus doesn't leave of us orphans, but sent the Holy Spirit to help us. And here is Paul, sinful, evil, against the Christians. And God kind of knocks him over, blinds him, but leads him in the right direction. And sends him to Ananias, who prays for him. And then Paul becomes a great Christian leader. And here he is in the shipwreck. And in this, here is John writing from prison, I believe, writing revelations. It's, writes. There's so many things that happened that we can't write it down. There's so much. Amen? So I'd like to paraphrase of John. For anyone who says yes to Jesus, for anyone who believes what Jesus said, or anyone who will just reach out to take it, then God will give them this wonderful gift to be born into a New life to be who they really are, who God always made them to be, their own true selves, God's dear child. So repent and be baptized. Follow Jesus. Nice book here. Thanks for going through it with me. Have a good blessed day.